okay in this uh, tutorial we're going to quickly solve the error which is uncut error it typically occurs with your expo go app which are trying to connect to the administrative application which are developing on android and um in most cases it ends in this error after loading for quite some time and it then uh, shows this error of the screen so what we quickly do is to see which by which we can solve it and uh, a typical uh, reason for this error is often due to a mismatched version between the React Native which are using as well as the Expo Go application. So what you want to quickly do is um, you come to the main and in your React Native application you want to come to the package.json to check the Expo version which you are using. You want to ensure that it matches the Expo Go app which you are going to install. So here I have it here. You can see that's the Expo. It's version 52.0.56. So let's take it as a version 52. The latest as of the time of making this video is a version 53, right? So you want to ensure that whatever Expo Go application you are installing on your phone actually matches this uh, version 52. So if you come back to come to your phone and uh, on your phone you try to open the Play Store application. You type the Expo Go. So I have it installed already. So just ensure you install that as the case may be. So um, this is the application right here. You can click on the QR code to scan. Then you can also enter the URL manually as well. Now, if you look at the version which I have here, it is version 52 that's the sdk it supports which matches what i have in the react native uh, application so and this is the client version that's the 2.32.19 so the main focus is to ensure that this the sdk that you have here matches what you're going to be using however this um application the issue is that if you download it directly from your play store it could have been updated which might cause a mismatch between it and the react native application you have so due to this you want to sometimes come to the internet and uh, you come to the expo.dev website right here so when you get in the expo dot expo expo dot dev slash go that's their official website you find different sdk version so from which you can pick from this is the latest for instance that's an sdk 53 like i told you as of the time of making this video but there are also several previous versions which you can uh, select from right so but since i'm using version 52 I, I may not want to download it from the play store and you may want to download it so far is the latest version but since i have version 52 it might not be the version that is in play store just in case you understand so you just come here to be safer you select the sdk you need and then you select either android or ios and then install that all right you want to do that on your mobile because that is why you need the expo go um application itself so you want to install that on your mobile so once you do that it's going to help you uh download the correct expo go application that matches the react native app and um, some other things you may also want to look out for is to ensure that in the warnings in your command prompt sometimes there are certain packages that might be outdated that you are uh, expected to install in my case i had some of these packages on the screen which i had to just um, install or sometimes you need to update so you want to type that in your cmd and once you've done that you can have uh, an output like this so wish this that you've installed them and um, of course the typical way of then connecting that's the npx expo start uh, you can add local host but in that case you should ensure you have your uh, phone connected to your uh, system there are different flags that you can have here. you can have the the lan and other options so when you run this it starts the project i'm trying to have it bundled So this is a command that's the npx expo starts then you wait for it to to run to bundle the uh, project or it may be taking maybe a little while so um it's done with its bundling so for instance this is what i was talking about the following packages should be updated with the installed expo version so just bring this ensure you update it as a case maybe so and once you've done that you can scan this we are using expo go make sure you are using expo go right here okay so and then you can press the option a in order to run the application for 100 so and with that it's going to connect directly to your um expo go application and that should resolve the error so thank you for um following the video thank you